folks and welcome back to another video in this video uh, I just thought I would jump on here for a bit of an update around the loss um, we have um, done some chopping and changing with things so um, I'm just going to take you around and show you what we've done so as you can see first and foremost what we've done is we had a look at changing our trapping system um, our trapping system was originally as you can see it's just a pull down door as you can see it just dropped down and the pods were in underneath but with changing to benzene this year um, the pods were slightly bigger so what we've had to do is make some sort of trapping device um, I again had no real idea so left it to dad to come up with the idea of this sliding door device um, as you can see slides up and we just obviously need to put a notch on there to hold it up and that's it um, but the most interesting thing is what I'm going to go on and show you now is this device or contraption or whatever you want to call it um, basically had a look at a couple of one off races and seen the Emmons doing it um, where they basically fence off thought I could zoom out but um, basically they fence off the area that the pigeons are in so with the young birds, uh, last two years we've had a nightmare when it comes to um, when it comes to letting the young birds out. Um, usually we would have had basically a device that came over just the traps, it covered the traps, um, and came out onto that walkway and the pigeons could have sat on it um, and they were grand but literally every year from the last sort of two years I've been here um, as soon as we take that off we have issues with sparrowhawks so I sat down with dad this year and we looked at different things and obviously talking for next year um, we're looking at changing the whole sort of front of this loft um, and doing away with the easy of reason, changing it about a bit. But focusing on this year, I said, what about putting like a netting system up um, for the first wee while and see if that helps. Um, and obviously it gives, gives the birds a wee bit more room to sort of move about. And hopefully if we do get hit, you know, we're not gonna have any losses maybe as much as we would usually do i mean last year we had literally let the let the birds out uh they were flapping them around and like i'm standing where i am now my dad was standing at the door and literally up through this gap sparrowhawk flew down smacked the young birds and they went everywhere all shapes ones went over this hedge um I think a guy from our club um, actually rung my dad a couple of days later and our pigeon was found with no head around um, where we live so it's just I don't know if it'll work it's it's a wee bit we'll just give it a try and sort of hope for the best with it and see how it works um, if it does you know help with you know young birds feeling a wee bit more safe then I'm able to sort of get round the roof a wee bit more um, and explore without being hit straight away so that's that's really it that's the setup of it um, I'm hoping it works I'm hoping um, in terms of giving the young birds a wee bit more freedom and whatnot will help um, with you know stress levels and whatnot um, Again, like pigeon racing, time will tell. So I just I have my hopes set that it helps, and that's really it. Um, 
everything else is pretty much similar. We're we the young birds over here pretty soon. Um, we have some of our racers, a couple of their young birds being weaned out, um, and sort of hopefully get them on under the weather hood system within the next sort of few weeks and whatnot. Um, but it's all a process and uh, we'll just run with it. So uh, again, any questions about what we have made it? Um, the thing with the wiring, or the netting, sorry, uh, the front of it, we we literally had, um, I bought some stuff off the internet, which is, it's near enough like the netting you would get from the oranges that you would buy, you no know, packs of oranges in the, in the shopping center. Um, but then the, the black wire we actually went and bought from a local shop um, and it's more of a nylon base so it's a bit stronger so yeah I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this hope you um, we will obviously report through the, the next sort of few months uh, when the, when the young birds are in there and up fledging um, to it we will be able to give you a report on how it goes so uh, thanks for watching and uh, we will hopefully get another few videos up um, I'm just sort of looking forward to racing season um, again we're probably about 10 to 12 weeks out from racing so it'll be all all go then um, when it comes to videos and you know keeping people up to date and whatnot so uh, thanks for watching and if you want to please do like and subscribe to the channel and if you hit the notification bell it means you will be updated when new videos do come out from myself here and hopefully we will get the big lad in um he's a bit camera shy as such um he's not one for the public public publicity side of things which i understand so maybe get him into a video um maybe ask him some questions um and go from there so have a great Sunday guys and uh, I will catch you in the next one.